All right, you guys. So today I have a very, very exciting review for you here today. A figure that I've been waiting for for a very, very long time. And now I have it in hand to review with you here, my subscribers, my friends. So guys, let's go ahead and take a look at Luke Skywalker Return of the Jedi version. So as always, we are going to get a look at the box. And of course we have a beautiful illustration of the figure with the lightsaber in hand that is also lit up. Uh, this does come with a lit saber, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, that is always a wonderful treat uh with these figures from hot toys uh and then of course down here we have luke skywalker uh he is the masterpiece series 429 a very cool guys uh and then of course we also have six scale collectible figure at the bottom uh and then we have the hot toys logo and here. then on the side of the box we have our normal two uh shadings here of black and gray uh the star wars logo and then again just underneath that we have the movie masterpiece series number Number, and then of course Luke Skywalker uh, as well and then on the back of the box uh, we have all of the readables guys and I'm gonna bring the box a little bit closer uh, so you guys can get a look at all of that and if you want to read it you can go ahead and pause the video but there it is on guys. the other side of the box we again have the two shadings uh, we have the Star Wars logo uh, again with the Luke Skywalker underneath it and the Disney logo on the other side and then back around to the front all right, guys, and then to get a look at the inside contents, as usual with Hot Toys, you get a really, really cool inside box art. Uh, so very awesome. We have the two depictions of Luke Skywalker, one with his hooded cape, and then, of course, with his black tunic as well. So very, very awesome and very cool. I love the picture illustration of the head scope on this figure already. It looks absolutely awesome. Uh, really, really uh, is a good likeness of Mark Hamill. All right, guys, and then getting you a look at the contents on the inside of the box, guys. We have some really cool stuff here on the inside of the box here. All right, guys, and I also wanted to get you a really good look at the cape uh, on the inside and how it is uh, housed inside of the box. I think that's really cool. All right, you guys, so we got them all out of the box, and he looks absolutely awesome. A uh, very, very good likeness on the head scope on this figure, guys. He is just truly, truly awesome. Uh, the gray tunic is really, really cool. Nice cloth material, um, as well as the undergarment. Uh, he has uh, some spandex pants, um, which is kind of uh, weird, but still cool. Uh, at the same time, uh, I never really noticed the pants in the uh, original trilogy. I mean, yeah, in the original trilogy. Um, of course, the boots are on point. Uh, the stand is absolutely amazing. It has a additional back piece that I will uh, show you guys in just a moment. But we're going to focus uh, strictly on the figure here at this particular moment. So, uh, guys, we're going to get a closer look at the figure here, guys. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys. And I wanted to get you a closer look at the uh, head sculpt uh, on the figure. And uh, again, I really do like it. I think it's very true to Mark Hamill uh, at the time of the Return of the Jedi. Very cool looking figure, guys. As you can see, the saber there the garment, the belt, the accessories on the belt there. Just really, really cool stuff. And then of course we also have the boots here. Just look absolutely amazing. As I mentioned before, the spandex wear here, um, but still in all, really really cool and lovely lovely looking figure and then of course if we go ahead and light up the saber and there we go we got the saber lit it's really really cool very very awesome 
and he looks absolutely amazing. We're going to go over our articulation on our figure here. So let's start with the arm. And of course, you get a lovely, lovely arm bend. Uh, he can practically hit himself in the head with the saber there. So he raises his arm up about that high. That's as far as I can get the hand up uh, there. There seems to be some resistance once I get up to that point. Um, he's going to come out about that far, uh, guys. Um, so really, really cool. Uh, extends out that far. Uh, he's going to extend straight out about that far with the saber. So really, really cool, guys. You got a lot of range of motion there with the saber arm. So really, really cool and awesome. Getting a look at the articulation in the legs there. So you're going to get a knee bend that's about that high there uh, on our figure. He's going to go back about that far. Um, so not bad at all. Really, really cool. He extends out about that far. So not too bad. Wish it was a little bit higher, but that's pretty good given the fact that, uh, that he does have the stretch material on. Um, so very, very, very cool. In the foot area, uh, you're looking at your downward, upward, side to side rocker. So in the ab area, you're going to get a downward crunch like so. And then he goes back about that far. And he not a lot of range of motion uh, in the midsection area. So uh, you're limited there uh, somewhat. Uh, and then, of course, you are going to get some side to side motion, uh, some twist in the head. So you get a lot of range uh, of motion there uh, with the head. Um, I, I believe you can remove the, uh, well, I know you can remove the hair. So you can remove the uh, hair from the head. And um, however, on this particular model, I don't know if the eyes are adjustable. I know on certain models, the eyes are adjustable, but I don't see that that feature is uh, available here on this particular model. So we're going get to get his hair placed back on there. So we got his head and his hair placed back on there. So really, really cool and awesome looking figure, guys, all the way around. Just really, really awesome looking figure. And then to get you a look at the stand here, guys, and I apologize for the glare there, but here is Luke's stand. It says Star Wars Luke Skywalker there uh, on the uh, plaque. Uh, then you also get the uh, little canisters on the back, and that is a separate piece uh, that connects to the back uh, of the stand here. And then you get a couple of different floor patterns. You have the uh, Death Star floor pattern here, and then you also get the Jabba's Hut floor pattern that uh, leads down to the uh, Rancor chamber. And then you also get the Sands of Tatooine fl uh, platform there. Uh, to depict the, the Sarlacc pit. So uh, really cool and uh, very good uh, additions and accessories uh, for this particular figure. Now, now, as mentioned, he does come with a pair of handcuffs here. Uh, so really cool. We're going to try and slide those on him, see how they fit on the figure. Um, but that's also really, really cool. He also comes with his pistol, which is really awesome. Really, really cool. Um, I do not see a place on his belt where he can hold the pistol. So again, guys, there is his pistol. Very nice looking weapon. Very nice paint apps. You got the little wood looking handle there. Scope at the top. So very, very cool looking weapon. And then, guys, these would be his various hand gestures. You have the uh, open palm here. You have the closed fist here. You have uh, the uh, almost the uh, Obi-Wan two-finger pose there. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen Luke do that, but, you know, it's cool to have that pose anyway. And then you have uh, kind of the force wielding hand uh, there as well. So really, really cool. And then, of course, uh, you have the... Uh, the uh, left gripping hand uh, as well and again these are all the left hand uh poses there and then guys for the right hand you have these various poses here uh my favorite being obviously the uh, laser blast uh to the mechanical hand 
really really awesome detail guys and i want to get you a very very close look very very cool nice detail on the laser blast hand guys just really really awesome work there it looks nice and meaty and, and mechanical underneath there so really cool and then you have the other hands uh which is a uh, another gripping hand uh and then you have uh another seemingly force wielding hand i believe there and um this is obviously the uh, pistol uh holding hand uh for the right hand side so of course this would be luke's additional hilt here so really cool and awesome for the green saber so very very cool of course this would be the saber in motion all right guys and we have the saber in motion and we have it lit very, up very, very cool effect and additional accessory for luke skywalker right, guys and then we have the cape here for luke skywalker uh obviously for the job of the hut scene in return of the jedi a uh, very lovely cape lovely material um, almost like velvet uh, type of material there um, but uh, very very cool and awesome uh, cape guys let's get you guys a closer look at it all right guys and as I had mentioned uh, getting you a closer look at the cape and hood very cool I don't know if the camera does it justice but it is velvet no not real velvet but uh, it's a velvety type of material very awesome covers the entire figure completely um, just awesome awesome uh, there is a wire in the hood so you can adjust it and uh, pose the hood as you wish um, so that is really really cool and a very very nice option uh, I'm not doing a good job posing it here uh, with one hand but uh, you get the idea guys um so really really awesome looking cape and then of course it does open up so if you want to drape it over one side you can do so and uh have them do that take the hood off and he's looking like that with the hood off so really really cool accessory to go along with your figure guys very All awesome right stuff. you guys and so we have luke skywalker return of the jedi version here in his outfit where he battles vader on the second death star really really cool and very very awesome uh absolutely love this figure guys he is just absolutely awesome so many accessories just a wonderful figure uh, so let's get you guys a closer look at the outfit without the tunic. So here we are, guys. We have the figure here without the tunic. We have the flap that is folded down as in the film. Very, very cool and awesome figure, guys. I really, really love this figure. All right, you guys. So there it is. That is the latest edition of Luke to the collections of Luke in the 1-6 scale. So very cool, very happy to have him with the family. Uh, the only Luke I'm missing at this particular point is the 1-6 scale pilot Luke. Uh, hopefully I will get an opportunity to pick him up someday. If he is still available, I'm not even sure if he is still available uh, online. So we'll have to see. Uh, but he definitely is now a target of mine uh, to fulfill my 1 6 scale Luke collection. So guys, let me know what your thoughts are. What do you think of the return of the Jedi 1 6 scale hot toy Luke? Uh, is it something you're going to add to your collection? Put those comments down below. Please like and subscribe. And of course, guys from the father to the son to the Obi-Wan force ghost may the force be with you always